Hello everyone, what we will do, we will create an Excel file exactly like this one. And the first step is install Excel links. For that, we need to go to the terminal and type pip install Excel links. Pip install Excel links. Hit enter. Now Excel Wings is successfully installed and ready to use. Next, in the code, we will create a workbook and fill it with data. We start by import Excel Wings as XW. Then we want to create a empty workbook. Workbook is equals to XW.book and we save the workbook as my workbook dot excel sx this code just generates a excel file let's run this this is the result of running this code it will generate this empty excel file let me close these and these let's comment this line and also this line okay these two lines are just to create a new workbook if you want to open a already existing workbook you need to declare a workbook that is equals to xw.book and you provide the path for that workbook in this case because the workbook is in the same folder as our script it will be just the name of the workbook so what we will do next is in the middle we will change this workbook and at the end of everything we just need to save the workbook okay without providing any string parameter to the save method like we did in this case okay about the changes that we will do to this workbook we will divide these in two steps okay the first step is fill with data the second step will be add the style to this workbook okay so first thing that we want to do is select the sheet one for that we declare a st1 that is equals to workbook dot sheets and we select the one that is called sheet one the first thing that we will do is fill the row one with the values one two three and for that we do st1 dot range starting at b1 at cell b1 we set the value for these equal to the list one two and three okay because it is a list it will fill the values at b1 c1 and d1 if you run the code you will get something like this okay where we have one at b1 two at c1 and three at d1 next we want to do something similar but in the column a okay for that we will do something very similar to this so let me copy these and let me paste here instead of b1 will be a2 and before calling the value we want to call another method that is called options and this method will receive a parameter that is called transpose and it will be equals to true after running the code you will get something like this where we have values in the column a next we want to fill these cells starting at b2 and ending at d four let's declare here another variable for data cells that will be equals to st1 dot range and the range will be starting at b2 and ending at d4 just for you to see let's set the data cells dot value equals to the string test if you run the code you will get this where you have the word test in all the range this was just for you to see this working okay what we actually want to do here is a times table and for example for this value here we will want the result of 3 times 2 for that purpose we will use formulas so every cell will have a specific formula again for this one we will have the reference of a4 times the reference of c1 for this one the reference of a4 times the reference of d1 to understand what we will do next let's see this first okay so what we know for sure is these values these numbers are in the row number one and these values are in the column a also we want to assign for each cell here a specific formula and for example this cell here we will have the address of c3 and the formula will be something like 
a3 times c1 the value of a3 this value here and the value of c1 this value here the problem is how we will get the address of this cell and the address of this cell the problem is very easy to solve but in the code it can be a little bit of confusing okay so let's see for this cell here we know for sure that it is in the column a and the problem the only problem here is we don't know the number of the row so we will get the number of the row from the address of the cell and for this case we will get the number of the column from the address of the cell and we know for sure that it is in the row number one because it will not change. Let's do this. For each cell in data cells, we want to get the address of the cell. So, address will be something like cell.address. Before continuing, let me put here a comment and I need to say something here that is very important. This cell.address will return a string and this is an example of that string. It will be a dollar sign, b, dollar sign again and the number of the row. We want to ignore the first dollar sign. For that, we type 1 and we want the rest of the string, so we are ignoring the first dollar sign. And also, we want to split the remain string by dollar sign, the second dollar sign. So, split by dollar sign. The next part of the code is easy. We just need to get the column from the address at 0 and also get the row number from address at at 1. After this, we just need to assign to the cell value a string with the formula and we will do a string with the values equals column A. We provide the row, the time symbol, we provide the column and the row number. This is the result of running the code. As you can see, we have here this formula. We just finished the second step. Now it's time to do the third step, adding the style. And before that, a warning. Some code that you will see here is a workaround and I believe that in the future the team of Excel Wings will add functions or methods to do the same thing. Okay, let's do this. Before everything I have already here some colors that we can use. White, blue and yellow. This is a triplet of RGB values. Okay, the first one is for red, the second one is for green and the third one is for blue. Okay, is just that. So let's continue. The first thing that we we want to do is select the row headers and the call headers so we can add style to these. For that we declare a row header that is equals to st1.range and we select the range from b1 to d1. For the call header we declare a call header that is equals to st1.range from a2 to a4. With this we can start adding style to these ranges. So let's go a little down and row header dot api dot font dot bold is equals to true the same goes for the call header also we want to set the background as blue for that row header dot color is equals to our rgb triplet blue okay the same goes for the call header also just for you to notice i will paste here some code that i tried i tried to set font color equals to white but unfortunately it didn't work okay if we run the code we get this result as you can see we have the headers with style next step we will format these data cells Okay. The first thing that we will do is add borders to the cells and for you to understand this we will do this outside of the data cells in single cells and then we do for all the cells. Okay, So we select the cell b6 and we type b6.api.borders we provide the number 1 dot weight. This will be equals to the number 3. This will create a left border in the cell b6. Running the code, we get this result as you can see in the cell B6 we have a left border. Let's do for the others. We paste here the code to select other cells and we set here borders for each cell. In this case we are setting the right border, so we provide the number 2. For this case we are setting the top 
border so we are providing the number 3 and the bottom border is with the number 4 and this is the result of running our code we have here a right border we have here a top border and here a bottom border since you already got the idea let me paste here the code from b2 to d4 we want to set the left right top and bottom borders of all cells and this is the result as you can see all the cells have borders also let's set the background color of data cells equals to yellow and now they are yellow let's center all the text okay we select all the cells from a1 to d4 then we declare a center variable that is equals to xw for xl wings dot constants dot age align age is for horizontal alignment okay dot xl age align center with this we can set the center to the cells all cells dot api dot horizontal alignment is equals to center and this is the result as you can see the text is centered so you already have what i promised in this video okay and i decided to add this part just to show you some tips and help you to explore these further okay so if we want to rename the sheet one we type st1.name is equals to a new name also we can go to the workbook dot sheets and we can add another sheet and this is the result excel as you can see we have here another sheet and the new name sheet if you want to remove a sheet you may expect to have this method remove but unfortunately there is no method remove okay so how to do this first let's comment this line because this will not work and let's try by printing the dear of workbook dot sheets let's see what we can learn from these we open the terminal let me expand these and we run this script and we got this result where we can see some properties for example we have here the api the add method okay and also we have here a method underscore underscore del item underscore underscore so let's try this one let me close this and we try this workbook dot sheets dot underscore underscore del item underscore underscore and we pass the name of the sheet after running the code the another sheet disappeared okay if you have any suggestion for a new video please leave a comment also if you find the video helpful please give it a like and share with your friends is a way for you to help me back as always thank you for watching